Today I show you how I closed and opened again this garage door. So for this you um, take here those new toggle walls, they were added in the last update. You put it in the right direction and kind of make it a similar size as the door you had before, the one you want to animate. Unfortunately the texture of the toggle walls stretch very ugly as you can see here. So I recommend to use some kind of unique colored texture. Me, I want to use this one for the wall, for the garage door. So I have to make it to the right size, like this. Mm, that's a bit too big, let's check. Yeah, make it a bit wider and then I just copy it several times until it looks good. So here's the second one and copy the third time. And I mark them and adjust them a little bit. Make them slightly wider on both sides so that they match. I copy the toggle wall under it, make a thin layer which will become this kind of rubber thing below the garage where it stops. For this I choose a dark color like this gray. And now I adjust the size. So what I'm doing next is to give all those parts of the garage that will be in the middle of my animation the field ID 2, also including the black rubber band below it, you see, field 2. Now I repeat the whole thing, I copy the garage door below so that it covers here the whole, um, the whole length. I also add the rubber gum and all of them I give the field ID 3 and then in the end I do the same thing for the highest part. I copy all the three pieces of the garage plus the rubber band and give that one, yeah, this one, give the field ID 1. To make everything more realistic I take the garage turned it around to the horizontal way and did the exact same animation with all the three layers here on top of it. But I don't show you this because it's exactly the same as what I did before. Now we open the advanced editor. We choose the trigger function because we want to activate it with a trigger field. Select none and now we start to program the animation itself. So this one we go with the fields, so what we want to do is we first want to remove the lowest one which is the field 3. So we disable all the toggle walls with the field 3 and instead we enable the field 2, so that's this one here. Um, then we give a yield which is like a break of one second. Here we add one and then we continue as we disable the field two like the middle field. Here disable field two and instead we enable the field one. Now that the garage is open, we add a yield of um, 4 seconds and then we repeat everything in the opposite direction, which I won't show you now. Next thing to do is to choose a trigger field where the people need to walk inside to actually open the garage door so you place it here 
make it as big as you need it. I think it's better to make it a bit bigger. And then as the enter function, you choose the name of the event. In my case, it's garage. Now you need to do one more event. You go to the match setup, also select one, uh, none, and then just enable and disable the fields as you want them when the game starts because normally by default all the toggle balls are on and you don't want all three of them on so I disable field one, disable field two, but disable field, field three and then the garage will be closed when the game starts. But you can also do it otherwise. When you test it now, it should actually be working. Okay, looks good. If you want the animation to be perfect, there's one more thing that you can do. You add one extra field. In my, in my case, I call it field number nine because I used up all the other ones. In the beginning of this event or this animation called Garage, um, I disable this field 9 and at the end I enable it again. With this one I disabled here the trigger field, so I choose here the field 9. This way the animation won't mess up when more than one person enters the trigger field. If you have any further question, please leave a comment.